Welcome, this video is going to be covering vectors. The learning target is to understand the mechanics behind vectors. The four success criteria are given. The vocab. What is a vector? A vector is a quality that has both direction and magnitude. The magnitude is referred to the size and is represented in the coordinate plane by an arrow drawn from one point to another. Here's how a vector would look like. The far end is the tail. Each way the arrow is pointing, which is the head, shows the direction. Based on the strength or the size, you draw the arrow longer or shorter. The unique part about vectors is that if one vector is pointing one way, and we call that A, if it turns 180 degrees or flips to the other side, the arrowhead, we would say that is negative A. The core concept of what a vector is. A vector has an initial point. In this case, it is called B because that is where the tail starts. The terminal point is where the arrowhead is. And in this case, it starts from P and ends at Q. The fact that this is on a coordinate plane, there is a horizontal part, which is called the horizontal component, which is in the X direction. And then there is a vertical part, which is the Y direction. In this case, you can count the horizontal component as five because that is the how much you're traveling on the X axis, one, two, three, four, five. Then to go up to Q, you also have to go up three, one, two, three. That's why they say the component form of this is bracket five, comma, three. The bracket is referred to the first one as the um, X axis or the horizontal component. Then it is the Y axis or the vertical component. Then you carrot bracket to finish it off. So this is component form. In this example, I'm going to show you how to name and write the component form of this vector. Here's the solution. The vector is considered called JK. It starts with J because that is the initial point and K is the terminal point. The arrow which is on top just indicates that it is a vector. How do we go from J to K? Because we need that to find the components. So let's count from J to K. How much did we go in the X direction? One, two, three. Then in the Y direction, one, two, three, four. So we could say the component form is bracket three comma four close bracket. In this example, I would like to show you how to identify the vector components, that horizontal part and that vertical point. But in this case, we see that it is not on a coordinate grid. First of all, the, the vector has a magnitude or a strength of 10 meters. And because it's tilted, we give a degree component here. Sometimes this is referred to as theta. We could see the theta is equal to 20 degrees. The horizontal part is right here, which is in the X direction. And it is defined by the closest one, because you see how this is next to the 20, which is the adjacent side so it is going to be cosine theta the horizontal um and if we plug it in it would be 10 because that is the vector cosine theta is 20 degrees so we plug in 20 and that gets us 9.39 the horizontal part the vertical part goes up and down which is in red and notice that this is on the opposite to the 20 degrees so this is the sine theta part to find it, we plug in the 10 because that is the original vector. Sine 20 degrees, that gets us 3.42. How it looks like, we can say that this vector of 10 meters at 20 degrees has a horizontal component of 9.39 and a vertical point of 3.42 meters. I'm going to show this in a little bit more detail going back 
to your geometry or your trade courses. You've seen this before. In example three, I'm going to show you how to solve for a right triangle. Notice you are given a right triangle and you're trying to solve for G and H. Here are your solutions. First of all, you're going to use your trig ratio. Here, we're going to solve for H and you're going to solve um, for H by looking at the here. This is the opposite side, which is H and the hypotenuse is 13. Okay, so the opposite was H, then the 13 was the hypotenuse. Notice to solve for H, they just multiplied. <gasps> You've seen this before, right? The 13 was the original vector. Okay, was the original vector. And this was just the horizontal. Um, this is just the vertical part. Exactly like what we said, sine 25 theta. Okay, gets you the 5.5H. So this is 5.5. Likewise, let's look at G. It's adjacent. Do you see how, because it's close to the G, uh, the 25. So cosine of, cosine of H, uh, cosine of this angle, okay? Cosine of 25 is equal to G over 13. Notice it becomes 13 cosine 25 equals to G, equals to 11.88. So it's very simple this should give you insight on why this works. Okay. Notice the horizontal component. All you have to do is get the original vector, multiply it by cosine of the theta. Vertical part, grab that vector, multiply it by sine theta. That's it. Okay. That's exactly what happened here. This just gives you um, the trig behind why that works. Okay. But in physics, we can just go to this step. Okay, but this is the reason why. Lastly, I'm going to show you now how to add or subtract vectors. Here's the original vector. This is what A looks like, and this was what B looks like. To add a vector, so this is where the A originally starts at. And then do you see how this is the terminal part? Then we start from B. If we travel A and B, we went the red arrow, which is when A add B. So this is how the vectors add. You go from um, terminal point, uh, the tail to the head, from the tail to the head. Okay? Subtracting the vectors. You might see A like this and B like this. Notice they come out from the same terminal point. When you subtract, in this case, A is going to be subtracting B. It starts from A, then it goes all the way to B. That's why it subtract B. Likewise, you might see it like this, where in this case, the um, where it starts from is B, and it ends to A. This is why it's B subtract A. Okay, this is just a visualization of how vectors look like. What you're gonna do in this class is you're going to see it more like horizontally and vertically. Okay, so this is how A is and this is how b is in this case i'm just going to show you it using variables how to add vectors if this is a and this is vector b and we add them do you see how it's on the same line it combines to make this long one so this long one is a plus b so how does it look like when we subtract vectors so i'm going to show you how b plus negative a but what does negative a mean okay Notice the B is represented by this, but the A now points in the opposite direction. Remember what we said earlier about vectors? It becomes a negative of that if the arrow flips. So notice how this arrow flips. If we add this arrow plus this arrow, do you see how, how you would get this small red arrow left over and it's pointing to the right hand side? Likewise, you might see a plus negative b. In this case, the a is going to be normal. It still points to the right. Now the b, which is the longer arrow, points to the left. If we add them, notice the resulting vector points to the left because the b here is bigger. Okay, This is how it would look like in general. But now it's going to make a little bit more sense once I threw in some numbers. So this is a vector that is represented by 5 
or the value of 5, and this is a vector that is represented by the 7. I'm going to add the vectors. So 5 plus 7, same direction, so we add them. 5 plus 7 equals to 12. So this long vector is considered 12. How to subtract the vector? 5, 7 plus negative 5, or 7 minus 5. Notice the 7 is the long one, which is in black, and the blue, which is the flip version of the 5, because it's subtract 5. So if we have this long 7 and this short negative 5, what do we get? A 2. And it's still positive. That is why we're going to the right 2. Let's see how it works here. 5, which is the positive 5, which is the black one here, but it's a negative 7. So that long 7 flipped. What happens when we add 5 plus negative 7? We get negative 2. That is why the resulting arrow goes to the left-hand side. Likewise, because 5 plus negative 7 is negative 2. This is what you're going to be doing a lot in AP Physics. Make sure you know how to add the vectors or subtract the vectors.